Welcome to this product demonstration video where I'll be terminating a Category 7 cable with an EDAT RJ45 connector. My name is Ralph Parrott. I'm Liberty's Director of Quality and Technical Services. And you need to make sure you have the right tools for the job here. So you can have a pair of pliers, a tweaker, a jacket strip tool, and a pair of diagonal flush cutters, and then a, some copper tape for your ground plane. So first of all, we're going to go ahead and uh, prep the cable. So we have the Category 7 cable if you're using a cigar basically a cigar cutter style stripper. You want to use the minimum spins. So you don't cut too deep in the jacket and cut through the shields and stuff. What you want to do is uh, strip off about one and a half to two inches of jacket. Pop the jacket off. This cable is going to have basically two different shields on it. You have a braid shield and each pair is foil shielded. So you want to go ahead and do a bird cage with your braid shield and then pull some strands off to the side. This will be your drain wire. So just kind of pull a few strands off to the side. And then go ahead and trim around the edges here with your flush cutters. Just flush against the jacket. Get as many strands as you can without cutting off your drain wire. And then any wires left over after that, you can just include into your drain wire. I'm going to go ahead and get these pieces out of the way here. I'm going to twist this to make a drain wire. Lay it back against the jacket. And then using a piece of copper tape, and this is 3M 1181 copper tape, so that means the glue is conductive too. I'm going to go ahead and use that to hold that drain wire down against the jacket. You want to make sure your copper tape does not go past the jacket because you don't want to cut the insulation or anything. Wrap that around there nice and tight. Capture that drain wire. Go ahead and trim off your excess braid. Now you're going to have each individual foil pair here you're going to want to go ahead and remove that. They have a seam going down the foil and you want to find that seam and just kind of follow it down as close as you can. Take your diagonal cutters and just nip that shield right at the base there. Make sure you don't cut your conductors. Sometimes you have to twist it a little bit to get it to pop loose. We'll go ahead and spin that off. It'll come right off and just do that with each other pair. Find the seam, follow it down, nip the foil, peel it off. Once you have all those foil shields removed, don't untwist the pairs. And the reason why is each of the white conductors on a Category 7 or a Category 8 cable does not have a stripe on it. So if you untwist all the pairs here, you could potentially cross your whites and cause a problem. So with my connector, it comes in a bag. It's going to have all the uh, parts. You're going to have a load bar. You have the connector body. You have an instruction sheet. You want to go ahead and open the bag. Your load bar has a color code on it. You have 568A, 568B, and an industrial. You want to go ahead and use the 568B for most HD based T type applications. The lower pair right here is the brown and the green. This is going to be the pair that's on this row here or in these holes on the bottom. So the brown and green is the lower pair, what I call my anchor pair, and then the blue and the orange would be on the upper pair. So I want to set my cable up so I have them in the right color code. So brown, green, brown, green, have them in the right things. So now I want to untwist my pairs. A couple ways you can do this. One is you can go ahead and uh, do it by hand, or you can use a tweaker. And you just go ahead and spin it a little bit to open it up down here. Put your tweaker in and pull. Do that with your pairs. And then put them in the right color code here. So I'm going to have white, brown, brown, and, and white and green. So I'm going to go ahead and put them in the right order. Trim them off kind of where the pairs start to get all twisted here. So I want it nice and smooth. And now I'm going to go ahead and tuck this into this load bar. It's going to take a little bit of practice to get them in there right. But once they're in there, you just go ahead and push that in, seat them as close as possible. Then bend out your two outer conductors to hold the load bar in place. Verify your color code one more time. You might make sure it's correct. And now I'm going to go ahead and untwist my other pairs and put them in their slots. So I'll go ahead and untwist the orange and blue. And just lay them in the slots here. The slots actually hold them in place and you can use a, a tweaker to push them in, or your fingernail, or just a force here. So I want to make sure these are in the right order. Alright, so these, just double check the color codes, blue, white, 
orange white. Now I want to go ahead and trim my conductors off flush with the plastic here. So I'm going to go ahead and basically trim these off nice and flush. And then in my top layer, I'll trim these off flush to the top. Now this uh, color code paper can be pulled off. Don't need it anymore. Once I have this, I take the connector body, and you see I have a tab right here, and I have a tab slot right here on the connector. I want to line those up, and then kind of give it a push with my fingers to start it, and then take a pair of pliers and go ahead and crimp this shut. These are actually some specialty pliers here. They're what they call level close. You don't have to use these, but you can, they do make the job a little easier. I'm going to go ahead and click it. So now it's crimped shut. Everything's closed. So now I'm ready to put my strain relief on. You can do this by your hand. Just put it in there and it kind of ratchets in place. You'll hear it. So there. So now this is a fully terminated RJ45 on a Category 7 cable. Normally Category 7 doesn't use standard RJ45s. It uses what they call augmented RJ45s, which is a different system that's not compatible with RJ45s. So this is actually used for like 10 gigabit LAN type stuff or it's used for a premium HD-based T run. But this is a fully terminated connector, ready to go.